So if you're using Todoist and you want to back things up, you have a couple options. And I'm going to go through this if you're on a paid plan and then if you're on the free plan, which is, of course, more limited. If you go look at uh, Todoist page, they say basically you can't export um, if you are on the free plan, which is technically true from within the app. But uh, we'll look at some options. Hey, I'm Adam with the Productivity Academy. And if you're interested in this, as well as other information on apps, productivity, time management, all that sort of good stuff, you can subscribe below. All right. So let's take a look. We got a couple different options. Um, I'm in my account for the Productivity Academy and this is a paid account. So this is what you would see. You could come into settings and then come in here. And if you go down to backups and you're in a paid account, you'll see it just as backups. If not, you will see a little thing over here that says GoPro or Pro or whatever it says. You'll have a little uh, thing. Now you can see that we get daily backups of your active projects, tasks, and comments. That's important. Um, it's only the active things. If you've completed them, they will not be included in that. But generally, this is a good idea to download. I would say if um, you're using Todoist as your primary uh, location for tasks and projects, that you download a backup occasionally. Um, this would kind of depends on the severity of, you know, if you lost it day to day, what would happen? You know, if you lost one day's worth of um of uh, activities or tasks or anything like that. How bad would that be? How about a week? How about a month? I think you can kind of figure that out for yourself and do that, but at least storing it locally or maybe adding it to Dropbox, Google Drive, um, highly suggest you do that. I personally use Rome Research a lot and I back that up on just a monthly basis. Um, while I take a lot of notes, it wouldn't be the end of the world for me and I don't want to overburden myself or build out some complicated automation. Um, so again, it's just your personal tolerance to that and how you can do that. Okay, now let's talk about this. You have kind of two different ways you could go about this if you're using the free version of Todoist. Um, so that would be you could export projects. So for example, if we go up here, um, we can export as a CSV, okay? So that would be your inbox. Um, and then we could maybe, if you have a few projects, you could export them as well. We could click over here. This would still be um, possible from a free account. So you're also limited on the number of projects you have in a free account. So this may not be too much of a burden. It's not great, right? Because you still have to export from each area. But again, if you're using this a lot, if you're really, um, you know, it's your main project and task management area, you're probably going to end up on a paid account. Todoist, I think, is fairly reasonable uh, in pricing. But if it isn't and you need to stay on the free version, then maybe, you know, once a month, once every few weeks, doing an export of your project to CSV um, is definitely worth it for the peace of mind. And again, storing it locally or even better, storing it in a different cloud service might be the way to go. Okay, the last way to go about this, um, and I'm not going to share anything that I found because I don't, uh, just like the tools say that you will find if you do a Google search for how to export or backup your Todoist data, um, is that they, of course, do not guarantee that, you know, your data will be safe, this, that, or the other thing. And basically what I'm saying is you can do a search for how to backup or how to export um, Todoist data. And there's some really neat scripts out there. Maybe it's with Python. There's some websites that you can authorize with your Todoist account, but it's up to you, you know, buyer, user beware. Uh, do you trust these sites? And, you know, do you have any way of confirming um, that, you know, they're not uh, doing anything with your data? Um, so again, that's why I'm not going to share anything that I came across. I've found several that uh, look completely legitimate, but since I can't prove that for sure, I would only use it with my data. I wouldn't tell you to go do it. Um, but there's some really neat ones out there. One of those being um, that can also back up your files that are included. So like example, including attachments and things like that. So even if you're a paid user, there's some really neat options out there that you may want to consider for using for your backups. Again, depending how important this is. Um, so all of these options, whether you're on paid plan, paid, paid plan, a free plan, um, any of that, you will want to consider what's the pain point. If I lost my data, if something happened and there was you know, uh, the site was down or, you know, they something got messed up. How big of a deal is it for me to lose a day's worth of data a week, a month and plan accordingly and go look for the right option for yourself from there, either having a paid plan where you can download your active projects or finding a third party um, backup tool that will maybe make this easier and allow you to back up either archived or deleted items or, or uh, sorry, just archived and closed items uh, as well as maybe your attachments. So hopefully that's helpful. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, uh, leave a comment below and I will get back to you.